Welcome back to the channel. I just want to do a video on the different styles of boots and these are just my opinions but I broke them into three classifications like tier one which would be our lower cost boots, our tier two which is a very crowded segment uh, which is a higher quality boot and probably you know more money as well and then tier three which is uh, like a Pacific Northwest and maybe a heritage uh, lineup where it's, you know, it's gonna cost you more money. Uh, but let's start at tier one. All right, so tier one, the differences in this segment compared to the other ones is uh, cemented construction. So in this class, you're going to get, instead of a Goodyear welt, you're gonna have the uppers cemented to the outsole. Um, so that is going to be, uh, it's gonna, I will just say this, you're not gonna get as much support out of something like that when you are not having that Goodyear welt. Although I will say this, um, the Timbaland Pros in this class, I think are probably your best option, uh, your best bargain, uh, because they're, I paid 138 bucks for these. I, I've worn these before. I've gotten some good use out of a Timberland Pro. Um, they have some stiffness to them, not quite as much as I would like. They're waterproof. They are lightly insulated. You know, the leather is reasonably durable with the new buck. Um, so I, I will say this, this would probably be on the upper spectrum of your tier one lineup, cemented construction, thinner leather, lower quality materials. And I will say this, the rolled over collar on this doesn't feel great uh, on this, but see this insole right here? And the Timberland Pros, this comes with this. If you wanted to buy this separately, and I have, I've bought these separately and they're pretty good. These are 30 bucks. So just for the insoles alone, uh, you're gonna pay about 30 bucks just for the insoles on these. So these are decent boot. I actually, I mean, I gotta say they are decent. Um, this is a Walmart boot. This is a Herman Survivor. Um, pick this up. These are 79 bucks. And I went through a bunch of their boots at Walmart. And I've worn Walmart boots when I was younger. So I have experience in these and some others. These are a little bit stiffer um, compared to some of the other Walmart boots that I looked at. Um, like I can't just press right through this. So I think you get a little bit more with the Herman Survivors in comparison to the, the other boots that they'll offer at Walmart. So for 79 bucks, insulated, waterproof, and I actually do have a steel toe in there. So they're a little heavy and they give you that nice little bumper. Uh, so I don't think you're doing terrible in these, but they're not, they're not gonna last. They're heavier. They don't feel great. Um, you know, you get what you pay for. And these are the Brunt Marins. I'm definitely not a fan of these. These are five months worth of the Brent, Brunt Marin. Um, it's a, a cemented welt on these and it's, uh, it's very flexy. It's, there isn't a lot of support in these. They look nice, in my opinion. They do look pretty good. Uh, insulated, waterproof, um, just didn't hold up for me. These were not what I was expecting. Um, I would put these on the lower end. I, I'd actually would probably put them below a Walmart boot, to be honest with you, because at least you're paying 80 bucks for these and you know what you're getting. With these, you think you're getting more, but you're, in my opinion, you're really not. Uh, super flexy, not a lot of um, support. There isn't like a much of a midsole and the traction just does not hold up on these. These things just, just get wiped out a little bit too quickly in my opinion. All right, then we go to tier two, uh, which is a very, very crowded segment. There is a lot of boot brands here. Um, and what I have here are some pretty darn good ones. Um, and I'll walk through these quickly, but the sep to what separates this from these is cost. Right? It's gonna be more expensive. They, most of them come with some sort of 360 Goodyear welt. You're gonna get better support and better stability and durability. Most of these can be resold. Most of them are insulated. Most of them are gonna last you a long time and you're gonna get good performance out of these. So I'll start over here. Uh, I got a Carolina Amto. These cost me about 170 bucks. They are 360 degree Goodyear welted and they are um, a synthetic welt. 
And some people don't like that. Some people like the leather welts. I personally have not had problems with synthetic welts. I really haven't. Um, they've held up pretty well for me. Um, and this is a good performing boot. Good uh, outsole on this, a Merrimack outsole. This company right here is Duradero. I have had some really good luck with these. I have had Duraderos on my feet for about a year and they are a direct to consumer uh, boot brand. And the thing I really like about this brand is if you have any questions, you can pick up the phone and you can call these people. And I'd say on the second ring, you're gonna be on the phone with the owner and I don't care when it is. I actually called them during an AFC title game and just said, you know, I'm just gonna call. And two rings in, boom, someone picked up the phone, asked them about sizing. It was very impressive. Uh, but these are good boots as well. So they have a really thick midsole on these. They have the 360 degree uh, welt, Goodyear welt, and a Merrimack outsole, uh, six inch on this particular one. And it's nice uh, leather. It's a nice feeling leather. And like I said, I have definitely put these to the test in the past. Um, so I'm looking forward to jumping in these again. Uh, and they come with a free resole. So that's that's something. Um, the Irish Setter Wing Shooter. This is a good, in my opinion, a good value for somebody. Um, these are about 199 bucks. Um, they come with a 360 degree Goodyear leather welt. You got some sort of um, midsole going to an extended outsole, and then they put the traction on the bottom of these. Um, insulated, waterproof. I think, you know, for this price segment, you're doing pretty good in these. And this comes with a steel shank. This comes with a steel shank. And that comes with a steel shank. You're not going to find shanks uh, in, in this category. You'd have to bump it up to this. Um, so I think that's good. And these are about 199 bucks too. Um, Red Wing. Oh my God. I got to say, I'm a big, I am a big Red Wing fan. Um, I got 415s right here. This is the only one I can say where it doesn't have like a stitch down Goodyear welt. Although these are actually resolables. These are uh, 415s. Uh, I, I tell you, I, I think Red Wing does a really nice job in this price segment and they have all sorts of boots. I, this is two years old. I waterproof insulated. I have put this boot through hell and it still is wearable and I could actually have it resold. Um, you are not going to get that type of performance for that long if you drop it down to this level, in my opinion. You're just not going to get that. Um, so I think all these boots are going to outperform that uh, tier one. Uh, Thoroughgood, another one, another big brand, 1957s, and they have so many others. Um, Goodyear welted, 360 degree Goodyear welt, waterproof, slightly insulated. I think this is an eight inch um, thick leather on these. These are 2.5 millimeters thick. So they're a little bit thicker of a leather. Um, these are around two, that's around two, that's around two, and that's around 2.1. So this is a little bit thicker um, piece of leather they use on this. And these are expensive too. These are like 279 now. So they've, these have gone up, but these are nice boots. Um, so I would say, you know, your Red Wings probably gonna be more uh, towards your upper class in this segment. I think um, this mail to order or just direct to consumer brand is really coming on strong and they've given you a quality boot. Um, Carolinas, I think have dropped off a little bit in this segment, in my opinion, that's just my opinion. And there's others, there's Keens, you know, Keens Cincinnati, they'll be in here. Uh, those are really popular. Um, Ariat, there's just, there's a lot to choose from. Chippewa, and I think you should. I really would concentrate, in my opinion, this would be where I would go, like in tier two. I would probably stay clear of tier one because they're, although these are pretty good, but just because you just don't get what you pay for, even though they're cheaper. They just, you start to feel pain. You don't get the support. Um, you know, you just, you just don't get it. All right, then we're gonna bump it up. All right, so this is um, this is an interesting class here. This is what I would call tier three, and this is your Pacific Northwest boots. And these are these are interesting because some people love these things, you know, this style, uh, but they're not for everybody, in my opinion. And 
you're gonna pay for them. And I must say, they are quality. If you're looking for lots and lots of support, lots and lots of leather, this is where you wanna go. Um, we're talking Knicks, Whites, uh, Westco, Franks, Drews, um, those style boots. There is some drawbacks. The price, you're looking at, you know, you could be spending six, seven, eight hundred dollars for something like that. These are three fifty. This is a great bargain. Those are Drews. Um, you're also going to have wait time. You're going to have to order this stuff, and you're going to have to wait. You could be waiting six months for a pair of boots to come in. And the thing that that also can be a problem is when you do get your boot, because you don't get a chance to actually try it on, right? When you get it. It may not fit. You'll just go, oh my God, it doesn't fit. And depending on their exchange policy, and this company was pretty good because it happened with these, they actually exchanged them and I was able to get myself into another boot. But depending on their exchange policy, you could be in trouble. Like you could be stuck with a boot that you just paid 600 bucks for. And what do you do? It doesn't fit. So you're gonna have to go ahead and sell them on eBay and you know take a, take a cut. Or you might have to wait you could wait another six months for the pair to come in that does fit in an exchange. So that, that can be a problem, um, in my opinion. But heavier boot, not for everybody. Did you know, I, I know like if you look at that heel stack, that may not work for you on a cement floor. Like this may not be very comfortable for you. Because when you start bumping yourself up from tier two into tier three you're gonna get higher quality. You're gonna get um, natural materials, leather, 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 and lots of it. Like your, your insole or your footbed on something like this or like this, and these are whites. Um, you're gonna get a thick veg tan insole. It's gonna be thick. You're gonna have to break this in. It's gonna take you some time. Um, you're gonna get a leather stack in the 55 last. Um, it's just, it's not for everybody, but it is for some people, that's for sure. And shanks, where we have steel shank and composite shanks, these will have leather shanks. They're gonna have a big slab of leather, which will give you that shank support on this. So th that takes time. It takes time to wear in, it's not for everybody. It's good for, you know, like firefighters, loggers, um, people that are really gonna be outside quite a bit and they're going to be you know, working on uneven surfaces and terrains. I mean, it's not maybe for, for everybody. I mean, it's your own opinion though. It's, it's whatever you want to do. You can go ahead and do it. This is a this is a unique one too. And this is probably, this is a segment that probably is, maybe I should not have included the white Fultons in this, in this tier three, because this is their boot where they are trying to take a boot that they make and they're trying to place it over in here, okay? Because it's not your typical Pacific Northwest boot. It's a 360 degree Goodyear welt. It's machine stitched down instead of by hand. Um, you don't have a 55 uh, last. You, you have like a, a vibrant outsole. It's more designed to be in this type of segment. And it probably could fit in here because I'm having good luck with it. I really am. I like these boots a lot. However, these are 340 bucks. So they are price wise. They are going to be, you know, $140 more than some of these boots. Um, and like uh, compared to like a thoroughgood, they're going to be in the like an $80 more compared to a Duradero. They're going to be, you know, $140 more. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? And I don't, I don't know yet, um, but I am enjoying these. I think they're doing a great job. Um, it's just, I'm not sure if, you know, to get in this very crowded market, I think you got to drop the price a little bit, uh, but you do get a little bit more at this. Ready? This is what you get. You get 2.5 millimeters thick leather to 2.7. So it's pretty thick. And you get a veg tan um, footbed where you have, you know, a little bit of a leather um, footbed in there and you get a leather welt. So you're getting a little bit more. Okay, one more segment too, because I, I wrote heritage down. All right, so these are your heritage style 
boots. And if you're if you're new to boots and to you know blue collar and the trades, and you walk right into like a Red Wing store, and you're like, ah, you know, I'm gonna blow half my paycheck on a pair of boots. And you might be tempted to go ahead and buy a pair of these, like a Red Wing Mock Toe Heritage. Um, yeah, I would I would probably think twice before I did that, just personally. And I know people love these, and these are quality boot. And I know there's iron workers that love these things, but these are tough to break in. Uh, if you go to work on a Monday um, and just slip these on, you're a carpenter and you're gonna go all day, that's gonna be tough. Um, they have a really thick leather uh, footbed in there that takes a while to break in. I mean, it's, it's not easy and it's thick leather. Um, they'll last you a long time, uh, but they are these are not for everybody. So that's my opinion. And they don't have a steel shank in there. That's just you on, you know, on top of a leather footbed and the outsole and they're resolable and they have a really nice welt and it's leather, um, but they may not be for everybody. And then these, another heritage uh, pair of boots. These are your Iron Rangers, same thing. You may go into a Red Wing store, not know what you're looking for. And maybe you saw somebody working in these, maybe you didn't. And you think, oh, you know, they get a nice leather cap there. I'm going to wear these. I'm going to be a plumber. Um, you know, that that may not work for you either because these are not the most comfortable thing to break in. And there isn't a lot separating you from the floor in these. So keep that in mind. Um, but I, a lot of people consider this to be the gateway into the Pacific Northwest. Like, you know, I don't know, that class, that class of boot where you're getting into like the M Shermans and you know, some of the dressier boots from whites and Knicks and stuff like that. Um, and I can probably attest to that. They are kind of like a gateway into that segment. But anyway, all right, I know it's getting really long here, so I'm gonna end this, but you got some choices to make. If you're gonna be buying your first pair of boots, like where are you going to go? Where, you, where do you belong? It depends on you and on your trade. I know some trades are so tough on boots, like uh, masonry, oh my God. But if I'm going lower end, and if I can get these for 140 bucks, probably be doing pretty good. Um, in this segment, I mean, you could do good with almost any of these. Um, it's just personal preference. I've had great luck, Duraderos. I've had good luck with these, not great luck. I've had really good luck with the Amto. I've had good luck with Thorough Goods as well. Um, with the Pacific Northwest stuff. Um, I think these are a great bargain, the Drews for 350 bucks. Uh, whites are a little bit more pricey and I'm, I gotta say I'm enjoying these. I'm trying to see if it's worth it. I don't know yet. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, it's personal preference, of course, but that's just my opinions on some of these classes of boots. Thanks.